couple bulls we got for sale. This bull came from Todd Thrasher. Todd Thrasher's partner with Griswold. This bull is a whiskey. It's kind of double bread deal. He is whiskey chill factor. So it's a double bread chill factor, actually. It's because whiskey goes back chill factor as well. He's really stout, big ass. When he by himself, he's kind of stupid, but he's not like rank stupid. But he's, he's pays attention. Come on, bull. He's got a huge butt. Real cool looking front end, bull. He's stout, but he's really cool front end. Females on his bull, that'll be awesome. Uh, a friend of mine sold him to him two years ago. He's already got heifers out of him and resell him because he has growing heifers out of him. He, females ought to be great. He has that cool cocky look but yet very soft made bull he's not all hard made like some of these bulls get easy fleshing uh, the guy just got him out of his pasture and brought him back to me he used him for the fall cabin season he's getting a friend of mine that I sold him to when he resell the bull so he still has a really cool look his calves are small uh, not have problem using my heifers but a really cool again he's whiskey back to chill factor cows that's some, some awesome breeding uh, thrasher if you don't know who Todd Thrasher was, he, he sold out, but it's one of John Griswold's herds that, you know, who actually bred Irish, Irish, Irish whiskey, bull number 14. Here's a bull here, the Wish Doctor Bull, came from my buddy up there in, in, uh, in Kansas, uh, Rob Miller. Rob Miller's Canadian by birth, now calls Kansas home. Rob breeds some awesome cattle, he's quite the cattleman. This Irish whiskey, not Irish, but Wish Doctor son. Uh, which Dr. Main Angus, he's, again, he's an easy fleshing bull. He's gentle as you want him. He just came off a group of heifers, so he's been out working, making babies, and the uh, bull has a super disposition, really square hip. Not a tall, lanky bull, just like a one on a moderate front. Look at the hip in the bull. Uh, again, that little shadow tapes in the bull. Got two inch rain this morning. Got like 10 inches all week, 10 inches all last year. Uh, but he is a witch doctor's son. Some old school breeding there. Uh, the bull is four now, so it's He's an easy keeping bull. He's just on grass and there's all this rain, mosquitoes and flies really popped up. He's stout made, gentle bull. Again, he is cavities, but also has that cool look as well. Both these bulls, the whiskey bull, uh, a video of if you've I just videoed, and this witch doctrine, both cavities bulls, both have a cool look. Uh, this one here is dog gentle. The bull over there is not crazy crazy. The gentleman who had him was a 65-year-old man, so he was a one-man operation, but he's Alert, I'd say. There are two nice bulls. Again, I'm a clay in the hobbies here in El Campo. Yeah, standard bright bull. Uh, look at the hip bull. The bull has a nice big hip in him. Easy flesh. And again, I, he'd been turned out on 60 heifers. A buddy of mine, one of my neighbors, used him. And now I got him back up. Boy, he's fleshed back up. He's ready to go to your, your cows. A nice functional group of bulls. Again, I'm clay in the hobbies here in El Campo, Texas. Two nice young Maine Angus bulls in the prime of their life. You have a blessed day.